Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, wood or Wux files uh, for the Wii U emulator within HyperPi PC. Um, now if you watch a previous video, I showed you how to, how to uh, compress your WUD files into WUX files. Um, what's nice about that, that compression tool is that it's lossless. So basically, um, you don't have to have the 23.3 gigabytes that a WUD file um, is, is a standard. You can have it down, um, some games cut in half, this one got all the way down to 2.7. Uh, 2.61 I think is is what it really is, yeah, 2.61. So anyways, this tutorial is basically going to show you how to use these files within HyperPy PC. So what you're going to want to do is go to your HyperPC folder, and we're going to go into Attract, Emulators, and then we're going to scroll down to Nintendo Wii U. And now you will need Notepad++ for this. Um, I would imagine if you have HyperPy PC, uh, more than likely you're going to already have Notepad++. If you don't, just Google Notepad++ uh, and download it. It's a very small program. So I'm just going to open this up with Notepad++. And we're going to go to the ROM extension, so ROM ext. So right now we've got dot .lnk uh, semicolon dot capital LNK. What you're going to want to do is right after that last K, go ahead and put a semicolon, and then we're going to put dot w u d semicolon dot, and then we're going to do w u d in capitals, and we're going to go semicolon w u x semicolon dot. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot the dot before the w u x. So we've got dot wd dot wd dot w u x and dot capital w u x. Now from here, you're going to want to go over to where it says save, hit save, and then we can close this down. Now what you're going to want to do is launch HyperPy PC. Now press tab on your keyboard, go up to emulators, and we're going to go to Wii U. Um, it's under Nintendo Wii U, so just go to N, Nintendo Wii U. And next what we're going to want to do is go to, you're going to want to generate a ROM list, so go ahead and generate a ROM list. You would click yes. Um, I'm going to click no, but you would just click yes, let it overwrite, and actually I'll do yes and I'll show you at the bottom. It's going to say wrote one entry. Now depending on how many games you have in your Wii U ROMs folder, uh, it'll say that many entries. Now we'll go back, and I'm going to go to... There are a lot of systems for this. Okay, we're getting there. There we go. Wii U. And there's my Super Mario 3D World. I don't have the snap for it, but uh, I do have the boxer. And that's it, guys. Uh, you should be able to launch a game now um, using your wood or Wooks files, however you pronounce it. Uh, and then you're you're all set. So I'm just going to make sure that my game launches. Now, because I'm recording, it's probably taking a little longer than normal to, to boot. Uh, this isn't the greatest computer. And there we go. So that's it guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, uh, please like, subscribe to the channel, um, 
if you want to support me and my builds and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, I do have a Patreon page. The link to that will be in the description. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.